Hi divers, what's up everyone, Dr. Ben here. In today's video, I compare two backup lights that are in my opinion both masterpieces of German engineering, the Hazer Backup 2nd Edition Short versus the HW Backup. Let's see which one performs better and is the go-to backup light for technical and cave divers. Coming up. A backup light is important for divers, especially for cave divers, since it is a bad thing to end up inside a cave with failed primary lights and no reliable backup light at hand. There are many in the market in very different price ranges, and some people even use a primary light as backup. Check out my video about the Halcyon Flare EXP above. Today, I'd like to compare two of the rather higher end models, the Heiser Backup 2nd Edition as short version and the HW Backup made by Heinrichs Weikamp, a German company more renowned for the OSTC dive computers. On this channel I do gear reviews like this one, but also videos that help to become a better diver and as COVID-19 regulations allow more and more documentaries. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell and never miss any upcoming videos. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram or ask questions in the comment section. Anyway, coming back to the bag of lights. Both lights are coming from established German dive equipment manufacturers and if you look at them, both feel really sturdy and durable. The HW is made from an aluminum alloy. I couldn't find out from which material the heiser is actually made, but from the look and feel and ruggedness, I assume it's made from POM, a really strong thermal plastic. Both manufacturers claim to produce the light at least for 10 years, so it's no problem to get spare parts and use it for a really, really long time. So this is two points for each, since they are very similar in this regard. Let's have a look at the differences. The first difference and the most obvious one is the size. The HW is much smaller, especially for short people. This is an advantage since a long backup light might be pushed out of the bungee if you're carrying a bigger light canister. The HW is so small that this is almost impossible to happen. The Heiser one comes in two sizes, the long and the short version. This one is the short one and although it's longer than the HW, it's still not too long and won't most likely interfere with a light canister. Still, this would be for me something to give a point to the HW rather than to the heiser. However, the small size can make it difficult to operate the light with big hands, especially with dry gloves. So this is something I like more with the heiser. Since the size is, is a matter of taste, I call it a draw and give one point to it. The next biggest difference between the lights is the power source. The HW is powered by a rechargeable 18650 lithium iron battery while the heiser runs on ordinary C-cell type alkaline batteries. The biggest disadvantage of rechargeable batteries for a backup light is that with rechargeable batteries the light stops working suddenly while with alkaline batteries the light goes dim but is usually bright enough for a long time to find your way out of the cave safely. HW claims that their backup light burns two hours working full brightness and then dims itself down, prolonging the total burn time up to six hours. Heiser says their backup light runs for over three hours. Sure, in terms of burn time, lithium iron batteries are usually better. However, if you open up the Heiser backup, you see this metal tube coming out and this transfers the heat from the LED unit sitting here 
to the batteries inside the tube. This makes the LED more efficient since it stays cooler, while the batteries last longer since they are heated up a bit. Very smart idea, but does it really compare to a lithium ion battery? So let's put it to a test. The HW fully charged against the heater with ordinary alkaline batteries. Honestly, these are the cheapest ones I could find and better ones might last longer, but just have a look. Both the Heaser and the HW gave light for over more than 54 hours. I quit the test after that time since I had the feeling the HW lithium ion battery was very, very close to deep discharge and I didn't want to damage it. This result is awesome and exceeds the announced burn time by far for both lights. Still, even after 54 hours, the heaser backup with the cheapest alkaline batteries I could find was decently bright. Even both lights burned long enough to let you safely exit a cave in case of light failure. At the end of the test, the heaser was still brighter and earned that point. From an environmental aspect, having a rechargeable battery seems to be better. I don't really know what the exact carbon footprint is, but still the rechargeable battery produces less trash. Remember that especially for cave dives, you often throw away half full batteries just for safety reasons. With a rechargeable battery, you can just fully charge the light before the dive and always start with a full battery, not wasting alkaline batteries. So this point goes to the HW2. Still, you could use rechargeable batteries with the heaser backup too, but remember that this has the problem that the light does not go dim, but with most rechargeable batteries just goes off at some point. Regardless of the many advantages that lithium ion batteries offer, they still have one major disadvantage, and this is the repurchasability. While you can buy C-type alkaline batteries almost everywhere on the planet, it's much harder to get the right lithium-ion battery and or the right charger. If you forget the charger at home when you go on holiday, depending on your location, you won't find any replacement. While the heaser principally runs on rechargeable batteries too, you can't use alkalines with the HW light. So this is the point for the heaser. After opening up the heaser, you can easily see that it is possible to replace the LED part. So if this breaks, which is very, very unlikely, you can just buy a new one and replace it. More likely is that heaser releases an upgrade to the LED, and then you can just update the backup light for the fraction of the cost of a new one. This happened some time ago when Heaser released the second edition of its light with a better LED unit and the old versions were just upgradable. So the replaceable LED unit is a pro point for the Heaser. When it comes to additional features, I would like to give HW one additional point for the fact that it comes directly with a bolt snap attached to the rear end. I like the idea because it's ready to use right out of the box. So let's talk about the prices that are really in the same range. The Heaser comes at 189 euro, while the HW is a bit cheaper with 185 euro. But you still need a charger for it, while the Heaser will consume alkaline batteries over time. So in the end, I think they are pretty much the same and I would like to give one point to each. Before I sum this comparison up, I would like to spend some words on the discussion between rechargeable and non-rechargeable batteries, especially for everyone who follows the GOE standards strictly. For a long time, I always recommended 
to just use non-rechargeable batteries for backup lights because I had the feeling that alkaline batteries are just more predictable. And this is even the case in the current DOE standards that say that, when required, backup lights should be powered by non-rechargeable alkaline batteries. One of the arguments was that rechargeable batteries cut off at some point instead of gradually dimming down the light. At least with the HW backup light, I saw that this was not the case. The light dimmed down gradually, just like the Heiser one running on alkaline non-rechargeables. The reason, I think, is that the HW is just running with a single cell, so it does not have any electronics in it like a BMS. So at least with the HW backup light, this argument is not really true. One aspect speaks against rechargeable battery though, and this is the self-discharge rate of the cell. All batteries literally lose the stored energy over time. While alkaline batteries have a self-discharge rate of 2-3% per year typically, lithium-ion batteries can have a self-discharge rate of 5% within the first 24 hours and 1-2% per month after that. That is the main reason to use disposable batteries. And this reason is important, since you will make sure to have sufficient amount of energy in your backup lights if you need them. Sure, people often do not replace the alkaline batteries after use and might end up with a depleted battery too. But in my opinion, it's easier to remember to replace the batteries after every use than to recharge batteries periodically. In my experience, it's very easy to forget about the backup lights. This is one of the reasons why using disposable batteries in backup lights is written in the GUI standards. That said, using the HW backup light would be a violation of GUI standards, which is important at least for GUI divers. Please let me know in the comments what you think about the rechargeable versus non-rechargeable battery discussion for backup lights, and especially what your experiences are with other lights powered by rechargeable batteries. Now let's sum it up. Both lights, the Heiser Backup 2nd Edition and the HW Backup are really, really good lights. Well engineered. Both exceeded greatly the specified burn time by 10 times or even more. If you need a backup light, both will serve you very, very well. They both might be a bit overpriced, but you really get a top-notch backup light for your money that will stay with you for years. Talking about the points, it was really close. The HW backup earned 6 points while the Heiser got 7 points because of the better burn time which was a bit surprising for me since I thought the lithium-ion battery would last longer. If you like to decide whether to buy one or the other, it boils pretty much down to the both differences, battery and size. If you don't trust rechargeable batteries and want to be within the GOE standards, the Heiser is the one for you and that's the reason I would recommend the Heiser over the HW personally. If you have really big hands or use dry gloves, the HW might be a bit too small, which would be another argument for me not to get the HW but the Heiser. If you have the problem that you are very small and your backup lights are pushed out of the bungees by the light canister often, the HW backup might be the perfect choice for you. Still, in terms of GUI standards, this light is off standards because of the rechargeable battery and you should make sure to recharge it regularly. No matter which light you use, you should make sure that your backup lights are working properly anyway. That means to replace disposal batteries after use or recharge lithium iron batteries periodically and checking the lights prior to every dive. I'm going to do some more tests on lithium-ion batteries for diving applications in the future. So if you want to see my experiments on self-discharge, exploding batteries or just more gear reviews like this, 
please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell and watch my other videos. See you there.